New on the edge, it's pit bull roundup day in one small Missouri town. But some say it's not protecting the public. Instead, it's robbing responsible owners of their family pets. It's all taking place in Sykeston. That's just south of Cape Girardeau. Fox News' Chris Hayes just returned and joins us now with how this is impacting St. Louis. Chris? Sandy, about 35 dogs from Sykeston were shipped up to St. Louis to make room for these seized pit bulls. Understand these dogs may have no reported problems as far as being dangerous. Some may not even be pit bulls. Bulls. Like dogs Yolanda Mitchell said officers took from her family that they always thought were bulldogs. We did everything, you know, comply within the city ordinance, but they still wanted to remove the dogs and everything. This was a family pet? It was a family pet. Yet she says no one touches the strays like we saw right after our interview. And I said, why don't you guys get those dogs? And they say, well, the dogs are just too smart for us. We can't catch them. Oh. Holly Job said officers almost got her pet. They said that they was going to take her because she does not like man in uniform. <laughs> and she tried to go after them because they were tampering with her property. Well, I told them that they was not taking my dog. So she complied with a long list of regulations that only apply to pit bulls in Sykeston. Put up a beware of dog sign, get insurance, put on a hard collar, take multiple pictures of the dog, and on and on and on. Mark and Jamie Burley started fighting for pit bulls nationwide after finding so many people who don't understand. All they know is the media that they see and the horror stories and the neighbors, brothers, sisters that got attacked. and. And then half of them meet Slater and they're like rolling on the floor with him by the time they leave our house or he goes out a kids lot. Like him. Yeah, Every he... kid that comes over our house goes right to him. The Burleys faced a pit bull ban when Mark pitched for the Miami Marlins, so they moved to the suburbs. Next year he pitches for Toronto, where there's another ban. Jamie believes the regulations have no impact on irresponsible dog owners. It's the people like our family that it's affecting, and now it's affected us twice. Fox 2 made five calls to the city of Sykeston with no response. The pit bull seized apparently risked immediate euthanasia. To prevent that, a Sykeston shelter sent 35 dogs to the St. Louis area to make room. 20 came here to the St. Charles No Kill Five Acre Shelter. Many breeds that now need homes in the St. Louis area because of a roundup 150 miles away. Many towns are dropping pit bull regulations like Chesterfield and Wentzville just this year. Click on our website at fox2now.com for a photo gallery of the adoptable animals at Five Acres and pictures of the Roundup. Chris Hayes, Fox 2 News.